And we're back. Another flight. Bye, lady. Bye. See you, boss. Bye. Good landing. Bye. Ho ho! Yet another day in LA. We're gonna head out to VF Engineering in Anaheim and see how the Huracan's doing. So we've got a special treat today. We're installing a titanium custom center mount exhaust that basically resembles a Super Trofeo Evo. It's like, yes! I absolutely can't wait. I have no idea how titanium is gonna affect the way that car sounds, but I bet you it won't be a bad thing. What's up, homie? I am so sorry, bro. <laughs> You don't have to be sorry, you're picking, you're picking me up. You don't control traffic. It's Los Angeles. Oh, yeah. As soon as you give the Huracan all those like crazy angles, you know like that front end is half the length of this. So it's aggressive looks suck up all of its potential for comfort and room. I really love the R8 though. I almost bought this before the Huracan. And now they've come out with a two-wheel drive model. And I was like, you know, they, only, oh. they only made a thousand of those, right? Yeah. They only made a thousand of those. You guys, I think, I think you welcome back to the vlog. Make sure you go sub smash. It's been early, bro. I've been up since four. Uh, make sure you guys go smash the subscribe button at the car biz. Oh, that'd be me. So we'll go check out some events, you guys. Right now, we're gonna have a beautiful montage of driving to Anaheim. Guys, welcome back to VF Engineering. We'll go say hi to Nick and uh, can't wait to see the car. Oh, I'm, I'm as excited as you are, man. <laughs> I've never heard of these things. Holy, look at this. That's the new exhaust. Is it heavy? Hold on, guys. <laughs> so you don't want the you don't want the oils from your skin touching the exhaust. All right, here we go. <gasps> oh, it's really heavy. Holy sh That's it? Is it that light? Oh, bro. It's like you gotta put a glove on. What's up? What's up? You ready? Ready to do this? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta watch that. I don't wanna put the, I don't wanna put finger oils on your clothes. I'm done. Oh, I'm okay. done touching anything. There you go. What? That thing is so heavy. Dude, it's so sick. Yeah, <laughs> super light. It's crazy. Okay, go. What? <laughs> you guys are kidding me. It's like it's made out of paper. It's nothing. Titanium. Wow. Damn, dude. This is, I can't wait to see it on the car. Right? Oh my God. I am so excited. You know what's really crazy? It's smaller in person. In a photo, you think it's going to be like, yeah. but it's tiny. That's what she said. <gasps> Damon. Hi, buddy. How you doing? You guys know Nick. So, what were you doing out there? Oh, we were just talking to some more friends from Instagram. Are you giving, are you giving the car out? No, uh, we're, we're sharing the love. Sharing the love. Yeah. That thing's amazing. It's a rocket ship. I won't tell you what speed it gets up to on the street outside. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> please, please don't do that. Yeah. Going with the dry yeah. fitment. Oh, dude, that looks bonkers. <laughs> like a glove. <laughs> We're looking at getting some hex tuning software on the R8. Well, you know what's really crazy about this car? Is that this car being the non-plus, having, I kid you not, the same power plant. They put the same power plant in all the cars. Even though you spend more money to unlock that little bit more horsepower, you can come to hex tuning here at VF Engineering and get all that horsepower unlocked for, what is it, a few grand? Is that what it is? 
Go to the website. No one's guessing. Go to the website. Go to VF. Or call them or email them. They'll let you know. Anyhow, it's like a, it's like a few grand, you guys. Somewhere in that neighborhood and you get 80 more horsepower. 80 more horsepower. Dude, that is no joke. That's no joke. 80 more horsepower? You have to come yeah, this that's, way. That's crazy. Because then we're not. And also the plus version of this car is about 20 grand more, but all it is is the tail and the power. Yeah. <laughs> so this is gonna be exciting stuff. Look at this. We've got we've got Toretto on the uh, on the computer <laughs> here. We just renamed you. Renamed you. <laughs> So one of the best things about this car is that I live on Vancouver Island and Vancouver Island has zero emissions. So I don't need to worry about mufflers or any of that stuff. I could take the cats out if I wanted to. Giving her one last rub down. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got it all fitted. Now it's time for the dyno run. The coolest thing is, is, I've never seen this before, but apparently when you get some really high heat into this thing, the titanium's all gonna change color. So fingers crossed, that's what happens. That's what we're going for. That's what we're going for. I'm super excited. It's gonna get loud. Oh yeah. And I've got these underneath. What? Did you say something? Can't hear you. have it we've officially changed the titanium exhaust from silver to a beautiful bronzy gold color and it'll continue it'll go bluey purple as the heat gets higher look at that oh, that's sick right wow look at that very nice and uh the hotter it gets it'll start going these blues and purples you got spare engines sitting around here. There you go. Yeah, perfect. All right, let's throw Just it on. Tell them to build the engine. Yeah, and then I'll have a 20. Full out. I'll have a I'll 12, have... 13, 14, 15, 1 million horsepower. Yeah. And then they'll swap it in and out. <laughs> They're putting my car back together, you guys. I can't wait to take it for the inaugural run with the new tie exhaust. Um, Wesley's currently working out the details. We're going to clean it up a little bit because as you modify a car, and you take pieces away, there are certain pieces that are essential that you need to keep and then there are certain pieces that you, you don't need. And sometimes the pieces you need are attached to the pieces you don't need, so you hack them off. Uh, he's currently eyeballing that up. Well, let the, let the man do his, do his magic. 
So this is the very first time with the tune. Oh yeah, it's faster. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. This is definitely... Wow, it feels like a different car. Dude, that's a significant wow. difference in power, bro. <laughs> you like it? Oh, yes. <laughs> what? Wow, bro, it really feels like a different car. That's just that is sick. Insane. So this will take a V10 Plus right now. Now we got to race one. It will take a V10 Plus and it will take a stock LP610 work on. We gotta race one, we gotta find somebody. We're gonna launch it, guys. We're launching straight into launch lunchtime. Control. Right into lunch. That truck. Yeah. Holy. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Bro, this is insane. So, do you think, like, do you believe in tunes now? Yeah, I do. Is that nuts or what? Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Look at that. My car never did that. I'm just, I'm literally tapping it. I'm tapping it. <laughs> How are we doing? Pretty good, man. You might try to angle the exhaust so that it drops a little bit. You can do that? On the hanger. Oh, sorry, man. Put a washer so it drops it a little <laughs> yeah. bit. So we can drop it? Yeah. Hey, Mike, whack right on the head. <laughs> you guys killed it. Look at that. Dude, that looks sick. Yeah. Without the bar and the way that... See, these guys aren't going to know, but I'm going to have to somehow find a video or like a photo because they eliminated this entire ugly bar look at that see that thing we didn't need that but it's not as simple as just unbolting it they had to work some magic because this actually mounted to that so somehow they actually made it so that it it just it fits look at that that's sick what do you think the odds are that i'm gonna melt that camera um oh that's what i was gonna ask you since you're <laughs> that's that's <laughs> a strip of this uh Re heat reflective tape on top of that, but you're gonna see silver. I would say do it. Just do it. You don't want it to melt. That's gonna be a problem. Why's everybody got a wimp out around here? A wimp out around here. Melting cameras isn't fun all of a sudden. I'm just joking. Reverse camera is right there. That's the exhaust. Reverse camera, exhaust. Maybe a little heat. So we're gonna protect it with some highly advanced space age technology only here at vf engineering it's foil tape i'm excited like look how good that looks now this just looks complete this looks right sick. bonkers right oh yeah yeah it's all about seeing it through you know and back to the ground she goes <gasps> daddy's happy oh yeah oh yeah is that weird? Dude, I do love my car. It's funny, like if I won the lottery tomorrow, I, I know what I would buy, but I have, no, I have no vision of what I would do to it to make it like DDE or mine. With this, like I knew when I bought this car, I was like, I'm gonna make this thing crazy. absolutely crushed it like I can't even ex like thank you thank you thank you bro I'm that excited this is not being made up because of the camera the camera was down and I was just sitting here on the floor just staring at the back end of this car and it's really hard bro like I daily drive supercars you know not to sound like that guy but this went from being something really exciting to being work at one time and so to get this excited about something new is like, this is legit. I'm fired up. 
because <laughs> nobody has that. That specific look and exhaust. Yes, Cartier and the guys at Rap Legends have their version, but it's different because their titanium exhaust, if you looked in my last video, it comes out under the taillights. Hey, have you seen that Cartier's exhaust? It's made by B-Rogue too. His comes out, you see, his comes out like right here. Yeah, it's cool, but it's different, right? That's what's neat. All our cars are slightly different. <clears throat> I gotta tell you, Gary has some really good news for you guys. We're giving you guys a discount on something from VF. Hold on one sec. Okay, guys, I told you we had something special for you from VF Engineering. So Gary comes to me and says, hey, look, Amir loves this car. Do you love your car? Oh, I love it. I mean, I love it 10, 100 times. I I wanted to get rid of it now. I'm, there's no way I'm, not, I'm getting. I'm keeping this car. It's nuts, right? Like I have no words to say for it. Like it's like you guys woke the car up. It's, it's crazy. He made it. It like it pops more too. It's yeah. Weird. It's got the extended that. longer crackle yeah, noise. Yeah, that's crazy. So instead of pop pop, it's like pop 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 pop. Yep. Yeah, that's probably the best uh, Audi V10 impression I've ever. Pop seen. pop no. Pop pop pop. So you do tunes for all sorts of cars. Last time we did a video, we used Jay's car the uh, the four series and now what we want to do is these guys did a tune in Amir's car and just came to me and said why don't we offer a special exclusive discount for the DD fans anybody with a v10 power plant that wants our tune give us a shout there'll be links in the description and not only do we have our tune on right now on sale from 3000 to 2499 we're gonna give you guys an extra hundred and fifty dollars off so what's the math on that? I, grade eight dropout? <laughs> yeah, it'll bring it down to uh, 2350. 2350, you guys, and you can get this exact tune on your R8 and any V10. So yeah, just use a coupon code uh, DDE fan and uh, it'll register to the car. Thank you, bro. Cool. Always you. hooking you guys up. There we got some fresh Continental Tire Sport Contact 6s in a 305 30 20. Now you might be wondering, Damon, where are those going? Obviously on your back wheels, but uh, not at the moment. We gotta take them to the tire shop. So yes, they're going back in here. How do you fit two 305 3020s into a front seat of a Huracan? Anybody know? Find out soon. That's You're what I'm trying to find out. Out. You guys, hey. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Just Sub smash it, boom, 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 boom. S subscribe, smash the subscribe button. Check out The Car Biz. And uh, guys, we'll see you in the next episode, which is gonna be tomorrow morning here from beautiful Southern California. Hot Wheels is looking for a new model to create, and they're basically looking for the public to bring out their cars because they're gonna select someone and create a Hot Wheels car after that car. So do you think, leave in the comments, do you think this would qualify for a good Hot Wheels car? I think it would, that'd be sick. Oh, I would buy all of them, I'd buy them out. <laughs> <laughs> See you tomorrow guys, peace. While we were sitting here, putting my luggage in, one last thing, check this out, Amir's car is doing a three wheel. Look at that, straight up, off the ground. Look at this. Dude, that is so sick. <laughs>